The 2013 Santa Barbara County Ag Report is in. Production of local crops shot up 10% from the year before, but this year the drought is taking its toll. News Channel 3's Christian Hartnett is live in Santa Maria to show us how some growers are actually dealing with all of those challenges. Christian. Well, CJ, uh, strawberries are the county's top cash crop at over $500 million. Now, the drought is affecting every facet of the ag industry, but strawberry farmers here in the Santa Maria Valley have their own concerns. We've had uh, good production the last couple of years. Uh, haven't had a lot of rain, which can interrupt our uh, harvest here, but on the flip side, we haven't had enough rain to really give us a lot of really nice, clean, fast-growing, strong plants. David Peck runs Manzanita Berry Farms in Santa Maria, where one and a half to two million crates of strawberries are grown per year. Like many strawberry farms in the valley, Manzanita pumps their irrigation water from the ground. Up to now, the Santa Maria Valley hasn't experienced the same severity of water shortages as other Central Coast regions. Here in Santa Maria, we're blessed with a really ample supply of groundwater so far, that is, you know, as of right now. There hasn't been a lot of wells that I've heard of actually running out of water. But that doesn't mean the statewide drought hasn't touched local strawberry farmers. Even without a water supply shortage, Peck says the lack of rain is increasing the concentration of salt in local groundwater sources. Salt can be uh, detrimental to the, especially to the, the establishment of really new small plants, seedlings, transplants like we have with strawberries. It slows them down. It makes it harder for them to drink water out of the soil, if you will. That can set plants back and cut production. So far, Peck hasn't seen his field slow down, but he's preparing for tough times ahead. You know, if the drought continues, everybody in California is going to have to make a cut somewhere. Uh, right now, I don't see anybody leaving fields fallow because of uh, lack of water. But to say that can't happen, uh, I say, no, I, I'm afraid that, that is a possibility. Now, one stra strawberry farmer in the area did tell me he'll be cutting out a few acres out of production this year to save some costs on water. But many of the growers here, most of the growers here, are saying that water isn't their biggest problem. Instead, it's the current labor shortage. Live in Santa Maria, Christian Hartnett, News Channel 3.